So this is lab 3-2 from Practical Malware Analysis. Um, as you can see, I've had to revert back to Windows XP for this lab. Um, I wasn't seeing any of the activity on Windows 7. Um, and so this lab, they give us a DLL uh, file. Um, and so when we look at it, uh, we don't see that it's packed or anything. Um, we do finally see an export table, which is common because it is a DLL and its purpose is to export functions for other code uh, normally. Um, and, but uh, we see a ton of imports, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly what it's doing. It has uh, functionality for a lot of different things, a lot of internet functionality. Uh, going to the export table, we see that it exports these five functions. Um, and so the book recommends the uh, way to activate or execute a DLL is using a uh, this utility in Windows, this run DLL 32.exe. Um, and so that's what we did here. Uh, in the book, it mentions to so the the parameters for running run DLL 32 is you pass it the DLL itself, and then you also pass it a parameter of one of the export functions. Um, now the book tells you that this function is what will install it. I'm not sure how they figured this out besides just trying all of them and this is the one that uh, uh, had some activity observable. Um, so I'm still checking into that. Um, but so in this case what I did was is before uh, running this utility I uh, started RegShot or Registry uh, Snapshot and so we took a, a snapshot of the registry then I ran this command right here um, I actually didn't see it run in Process Explorer, it might have been too fast um, I didn't see any green pop up um, but then afterwards when I took another registry snapshot uh, what I see here is we see what the book wants us to see essentially um, anything with this IPRIP uh, IPRIP um, moniker is the service that the DLL has installed and so you can see there is a ton of keys added um, uh, for this service and we have uh, you can see down here with the values added that the image path uh, one of the things you're supposed to spot is that for this service it is going to run in this SVC host.exe um, or from within it essentially this will execute it. Uh, this is a standard um, executable on Windows uh, meant to be kind of like the parent process for running services. Um, so that is going to be a hint for that when we do run the service. Uh, we won't see um, something maybe called you know IPRP but we will see it some, we will see this running and then it should be under that. Um, also, you can see some values added under the display name, this internet network awareness, as well as this description string. Um, again, these could be host space indicators. Um, if if they're uh, you know found with all the malware, um, it seems to be that way. At least the book implies that. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I'm going to break this lab up into a few videos. Um, but so essentially this was just looking at the DLL uh, with static analysis uh, and then running the uh, the tool to get a DLL to run and then noticing that these keys and values are added to the Windows registry um, with using RedShot and it's easy you just hit first shot then you wait until it's done you run your uh, run utility, then you take the second shot, and then you just hit compare right here, and then it brings up this notepad file um, to where you can see uh, all the print, all the uh, keys and values added. Um, and so again, I'm also in Windows XP again. So that is lab 3-2, just the beginning of it though.